Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Cytron's third webinar series. My name is Adrian and I'm Suat. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. So we are from Cytron Technologies. Today we are going to show you how you can design your own lithophane table lamp. Okay, we will be using two software today. First is SketchUp and the second is It's Little Web Application. <laughs> hi, hi guys. Okay, thanks for joining us. Um, so those of you who are new, uh, who are uh, here for the first time, I... Okay, so this is how we work. Um, during our session, okay, it will be a, only an hour session. We will do some demonstration and also some introduction of the topic that we are going to go through. And during this session, we encourage you to leave your comment in the comment section. Ask us anything related to 3D printing, 3D modeling, or even little things. And we will try our best to answer you all right, in the comment section or through the live session. OK, so um, without further delay, let get let's get started let's go let's go okay so um in this banner this is also part of our introduction little fin is actually this 3d artwork on your left side as you can see it's a 3d artwork it can be etched it can be molded or it can be 3d printed or right, in very thin translucent material so that when you shine light through this material you will be able to see the artwork. And today we have this one example over here. All right, this is a little fin. We will be, uh, but this is 3D printed. Okay, and I'm gonna share with you a bit on the history of little fins and why today we can create little fins so easily right, as compared to 200 years ago. Okay. So little fin is actually invented in the 1820s. Um, it was started as an artwork on ceramics, okay, on various kinds of materials, are not just ceramics. Morning, guys. Thanks for joining. Okay, you are here just in time, so we are just starting out as an intro. Um, so this is little fin. Okay, before I go deeper, I dive deeper into our next slide. Little fin actually meant by, uh, in Greek word, little means stone and fenin means cause to appear or means the way you see or uh, observe an object. So little fin in combination is actually stone where you, how you see, how you perceive the image from the stone. Right? Over here, you see a white color cylinder thing. You can't really see the object until I have to, I have to shine light through this um, translucent material so that you are able to see the pattern. But this is what I'm holding. It's actually what's shown on the banner right now. Okay, so uh, take in mind that in the end of the day, we will be able to design a 3D model file for little fin in this picture over here okay let's 
get into the agenda for today. Today, I will we will introduce you what is Latofin. All right, that's one thing. Um, because we believe that before you conduct a lesson for your students or even for yourself, you have to fully understand what is the object that you're trying to create. So I will talk a little bit on what is little fin. And then next, Suat over here, she will demonstrate to you how you can generate your own little fin 3D model using its little web application. Yes. This, yes. <laughs> it's little is a free software. And if you're on your laptop, if you're on your laptop, we encourage you to follow us through this demonstration, all right? You can practice it, you can try it yourself, you can um, try to generate your own little fins as well. After that, I will be sharing on how you can design a lamp holder. This one, okay, the lamp holder over here. How you can design this lamp holder using SketchUp, right, a light bulb holder. So quickly, I will show you um, an easy way to develop or uh, to create a, a lamp holder in SketchUp. All right. If you have more time, I'll be able to demonstrate to you how you can assemble this light bulb with the little fin. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how you can create a colorful little fin. Okay. That's the exciting part. Um, in the banner, you see that, okay, the little fin is actually with color. Okay. But if you print it out, there's no color. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, so um, hi guys. Good morning again. For those who just yeah, joined, welcome. Morning. Welcome. Okay, I see that's what I fans. Hello, Ponswa. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, Stella Gaming. Mm, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Atira. Atira. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So let's get going. Um, first on the agenda is what is little fame? Little fame, uh, very direct. It's a piece of material etched or molded with artwork. It's always been artwork on little fame. Uh, it's uh, how to say we etch our image on a piece of very thin translucent material, all right? It can be porcelain or it can be beeswax. It can be different, different types of thin material. Once you etch it out and you place it under light source or sunlight, you will be able to see those image very clearly. Over here, I have very three simple examples. Uh, beeswax was actually used back then to create little fin, okay? Because wax is very easy to carve. So how they do this is they put an image behind this beeswax and then put it under like sauce. Then they start tracing the image, carve the image out. And after you're done, you have little fin. Okay. The difference between little fin and normal picture is that you don't see what's there on little fin immediately. You don't really understand little fit until you put it under the light source. You don't really see the artwork until you put it under the light source. At first, you'll see what is this piece of beeswax? What is this piece of material? Right? You don't really see anything until you put it under the light source. So this is the difference between little fin and a piece of artwork. It's not that straightforward. Lah. Okay. And then there is Porcelain. Porcelain is actually a type of ceramic. Um, it is a very common material used in the late um, 18, uh, in, during the 18th uh, century. So right? people use ceramics and they slowly carve out the image. So they look at the person and then they slowly carve the image out. So that time, this artwork is a very, very expensive piece of art. Right? So over here, we have Samuel Coat. Um, 1855 is quite a famous little fin artwork back then. Samuel Cole is actually a, an American inventor who invented firearms. Huh? Okay, so he he's rich enough to have this kind of privilege to have his face carved on a piece of ceramic. All right, and then a third example is cups. 
So back in the days, Japanese actually developed um, ceramics with little fins and underneath the cup. When you drink, finish your water, and then you will be able to see there's an image down there. But of course, <laughs> it's very scary. Like, at the same time, um, you can't really see the object until you put light source underneath. Okay, you can't really see it and you have to put some light underneath it. Okay, that's what makes it so special. Okay, in the second image, you'll be able to see, oh, it's just glass. You don't know what it is. You have to put light underneath. Okay. Okay, right. So um, I hope you get an idea of what lithophane is. But these are the three materials that people used to use. But today we are not going to use beeswax or ceramic to create a little thing because that will take forever for us to build one. And we don't have the artistic ability to yeah, build true. beautiful. Yeah. All right. But thanks to technology today, we can do it easily. All right. All we need is some CAD tools, some computer software to design our artwork generate the file and with a 3d printer you can print it out easily we don't need to be an artist anymore but of course we can't replace artists artists have their own um i would say their abilities to create better arts okay so this is the thing that we are going to create little fin uh raya team so over here she will demonstrate to you how you can create this and this is just one of the little fins. Okay, little mm -hmm. fins can be in flat form. It can be in many, many different shapes. So I will share with you what are those shapes later. Yes. So. Okay. So if you have a laptop with you right now, we encourage you to join us. This is the website to the tools that we are going to use. Um, you can follow so what where as she go through the demonstration on how to generate your little thing STL file, right? your file for 3D printing. Um, so this is what the website will look like. Again, this is the link over here. Uh, join us as we go through the demonstration. All right. So okay. hi, hi, welcome, guys. We have a lot hi, of Tony. people joining. OK, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so you guys can go to this link, okay, to get started. Okay, it's little.com and just click get start to start. Okay. Okay, this is a web based application. So we don't have to install any software on our laptop to make this little thing. It just go online, but you need to have a strong Wi Fi network. So that uh, this thing can go smooth. Why? What is this? Hmm. This one took for, took forever. Okay. Okay. Normally, okay. it will take some time for you to load the yeah. web application. <laughs> no, true. Actually, this won't take long. But I think because uh, we go online, we go live through stream yet. That's why. It takes longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, then this is uh, the basic things that you will see the model viewer. Okay, then go to upload. Okay, we go to upload first, and then we will need to add an image. So click here, upload. Then let's see. So this is the image that you can uh, do. Okay, you can insert uh, on. You can put on the little thing. Okay, let's see. I choose this image first. Okay, let's see. Open. Okay, and then we can click on edit to edit the image. See? Okay, the image will turn into a grayscale color. Okay, it won't be in the color form. Okay, and then here you can change the luminance. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, you can edit here until uh, you get the image that you want. Okay, you can also control the brightness, contrast, exposure, blur here. And then you can also rotate your image here. Okay, just drag this. 
or you can also just type here put zero enter okay and then if you're satisfied with the image and then you can click at model and then it will generate the little thing okay please wait for a moment okay Ta -da! so here we have the little thing this one is a plain one okay the shape is plain okay if you want to change the shape just click here and then let's see the cylinder shape okay this one the cylinder shape the one that we do that we are going to do today is in a cylinder shape okay and then we have a lot here sphere sphere okay this one see but then uh, the image okay maybe you need to edit okay or if not you can just uh, see a part of the image okay on the little thing okay this one Up. Up will look like this. There is the one two four. Oh, so slow. <laughs> Nothing happened when I click on it. Because it takes some background yeah, processing, so. right? Yeah. Okay. So if you go to revolve, okay. Wait, it's still loading. Okay. You can choose many other shape here. Okay, this one, okay, lamp, and then the bell shape. Okay, bell shape, okay. But then we, we don't want this shape. We go to cylinder. We choose cylinder. Okay. And then, okay, here we can adjust the diameter of the cylinder. Okay. See. And then you can also adjust the minimum thickness or the maximum thickness. Okay, this one. Uh, it is recommended for you to choose 0 0.4 to 0 0.8. This is based on the nozzle, your 3D printer nozzle uh, size. Okay, so usually it is 0 0.4. So it is recommended to put 0 0.4 or 0 0.8 double. Okay, if you put too thick, the minimum thickness, then you won't be able to see the, the light won't go through the little thing. So it is not recommended to make it more than that okay so go to 0 0.4 or 0 0.8 okay then this one is just one picture right okay, you can see okay if let's say you want to add another image okay let's say here i put another image Okay, we got two images here. Let me go back to the model. See, now we got two images on the cylinder. Okay, so if you have a lot of image that you want to put in here, uh, you can do like this. Okay, this one because we have a Raya IDF3 team, so I put IDF3 team. Last time I made one 
uh, with my son's face on it. Okay, so this is not the shape. This is not the image that I want. So I will upload the image that I want to create this one. Okay, we got three images in one uh, image file, three picture in one image. Because I want when we see in different angle, we can still see this. Okay, one, two, three. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay, see? And then you can adjust the thickness of the frame here. See, this one. This is the thickness. Okay. And then, okay, see, the file larger than 1000 MB. It's okay. Okay, and then if this one, okay, I don't want the diameter to be 167. I will put it to 100. Okay. So now it become a bit smaller. Okay. And then, if... You don't have anything that you want to edit and you are satisfied with the image that you already see here. Okay, that you can see here. Then you can just click down that. Easy. Okay, then just click download. And if you want to give some attributes, you can click here. Okay, click on the link of it, put down below. This will take some time because the okay, well, is well, right. While waiting, let's look at some of the questions. Uh, I, I, oh, okay. okay, guys, uh, for those who just joined, um, we are designing a little pin from uh, using its little web application. It's totally free. You can check out the link that I've just posted in the comment section. If you have any questions related to little pins or 3D printing, do drop your questions in the comment section. Um, over here, we have one question. Okay, after save little SW, I think that's the file format for SketchUp. Um, so can it directly open with SketchUp? SW. This SW one is SDL. SDL, right. So in this, it's little, apparently it can only export only for SDL file. So yeah. uh, maybe you can elaborate more on where the little things um, exporter you you are using which which website you're using and we can explore in that website as well or any conversion ways of converting your little things up. all right do share it with us in the comment section and we will we will try to explore it and we will let you know whether it works with sketchup or not all right but for sdl file you it's meant for you to slice using a uh, slicing software uh, it's a format uh, widely accepted by uh, machines, uh, especially for 3D printing. So, but you can also, actually, you can also open up uh, STL files, but you will need to have some converters to revert back STL file and modify your STL file with a 3D modeling software. Okay, so, um, right, so that's back to you. So we have downloaded the file and now I will slice it using Kimura here. So this is the file, the STL file. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's rotate it. Okay, so I want it to be. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Okay, 30 degree. No. Okay, this is what it will look like. Okay, as you can see, before we print, 
we need to set the infill and everything. So go to custom. And then for the infill, okay, we should make it to 100. Okay, why? Because we don't want, uh, if we choose the infill to be 10, 20% or 30%, we don't want uh, when the light, we put the light at the back, it will show the lines, okay? This is, uh, this will not uh, show a good image of the little fin, okay? So that's why we will put it to 100, but then if we choose 100, wait, let me see here. We will get an error here, okay? Mm -hmm. At the top layer. So, we need to put here to 99.9%. Yeah. This is uh, Cura's, um, how to say, it's pre-programmed this way, you can put 100%, uh, mm -hmm. right? So, 99.9% is the best uh, in view that you will get from Cura, okay? Okay, so this is the setting that you need to know, okay? Okay, and then, where is to quality? Okay, this one, okay, the layer height, if you think that you don't want to print it for too long, because this one will took around 70 hours, 70 hours, okay? So you may change this layer height, okay, from 0 0.2, maybe to 0 0.24, okay, 0 0.28, okay. But then uh, since I want it look nice, I will just stay to 0 0.2. But then it will look nicer if you put it to 0 0.16, okay. The smaller, the better. You can't see, you can't see the line when you put the layer height is... Uh, below than 0 0.2, okay? It will look nicer, okay? But then I will just stick to 0 0.2 because it will took longer, okay? And then if everything is here, looks okay, then just slice. Okay, the slicing will take some time, right? Or yeah. On this one. Okay. Right. So normally, the little fence file, it, the file is quite big. Uh, yeah, so it will it's not take quite big, time. very big. <laughs> very big, okay. Very let's, big. While, while slicing, let's look at some of the questions. Uh, we have two over mm -hmm. here. Um, maybe you can take this. Can little fence be printed within a small time limit? If you print a small or a plain mm -hmm. shape, then yeah. you can finish uh, um, in a small yes. time there is a way you can reduce the wall thickness but you will risk breaking it right because it will become more fragile it won't be that strong anymore okay as long as you don't um, compromise on the image quality you can print the back plane wall thinner then it will print faster Okay, yeah. but the front, the, the, you know, the artwork, don't make it thinner on that side, right? That side is already that uh, width, you can't change it anymore. But you can change the one at the back. And of course, you, when you look at um, the design that Suwat is sharing right now, you see the top part and the bottom part, that's that line over there. You can also remove it. That's an option for you. You can choose to remove mm -hmm. it and then it will print faster. So there are many, many ways you can reduce the print speed but again you will be compromising the uh, the rigidness uh, right the uh, robustness of the print okay another way that i can think of is you increase your speed your printing speed and you um well, uh, that's actually another way to increase the speed increase the nozzle size okay um by increasing the nozzle size not not to 1 mm la, but to 0 0.6 mm as long as you retain the um, feature the the artwork quality 
0 0.6 is a reasonable size, right? On standard, we use 0 0.4 mm. But if you use 0 0.6 mm, you can still print the, the fine, um, how to say, the image. And you can print the wall faster too. Okay, that's uh, my two cents. Uh. You can give it a try. Okay. I have, have another question from Tony. Yeah. Do you want to? You can yeah. see, can you see? Yeah, you can feel. Yeah, the object after print out will have 3D feelings. Yes, so mm -hmm. as Shuat, Shuat is showing you from our far away, you can't really see, but you have to zoom and then yeah, you can actually see mm. it's extruded. See it? mm. Mm. Very yeah. nice. Okay. So one of the... um. How to say one of the benefits for this type of lithophane's design is you can actually create braille system very easily. You know what is braille system? You know, um, yeah, for the for blinds, blind all right. People. So if you have a lithophane, a blind people can actually feel the artwork easily, right? You can even use, uh, you can even draw your own braille system, put it in the lithophane application and generate a 2D braille system and print it out for people to feel. All right, that's one of the application I can think of for little fins. It doesn't have to be always light, 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 but you can use that website uh, to create this braille system, all right? So, okay, let's look at the slicing software. We are still okay, slicing. I can I share the Autolabs Autolab video? Yeah. Let's go. Let me share. With audio? Right? No, this one is audio. with the audio. It's okay. It's currently, everything is so slow. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Shaman, I thought you made your own little thing already. Nice. Okay, so this is one of the time lapse video using mm -hmm. a what printer and, and the, the three V two. As you can see, the clock is moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To create this kind of time lapse, you will need um, do share. You will need a uh, Raspberry Pi installed with oh, auto print. Yeah. Auto lapse. And then a webcam. Webcam. Uh, uh, best a uh, high quality webcam so that you can see the yeah. details, right? But of course, it goes layer by layer by layer by layer layer by layer to print out the object. Yeah. True. Okay, so let's proceed to our next uh, demonstration. Okay, okay. Okay. Let, let me share with them the output oh. the result first. Okay. Since the slicing yeah. took longer. The slicing will take <laughs> very long. <laughs> I think it's took forever. Wait, why this one? Okay. Wait, full. Everything so slow. Don't hang. I just hope it didn't hang. This is my lamp and then I change it to this one. Okay, so you guys see, so nice. Uh, that's mm. the output. We have another question. Let's get on to it. Typically, how long will be needed to 3D print? How long did you print yours? This one? Mine is 17 hours. <laughs> 17 right. hours. Huh. This is the exact model that you are you have yeah. in the Kira right now, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, you have your answer to print that size around this size. Lah. It takes more than 10 hours, right? Mm. Um, every setting counts. If you set the wall too thick, you will add another few hours into your print. If you set your wall thinner, it will reduce the time. Um, 
so you have to decide very carefully before you actually print it and to be safe always use the software that we just shared to see the results carefully see the print quality before you actually slice and print it or else once you print after 17 hours and you put the light behind the wall is too thick and you can't see anything so yes. to avoid that kind of issues use the software that we just shared right now in the comment section simulate the drawing make sure that the color is nice the tone is correct and the wall is not too thick okay this is uh, some of the tips that we can share with you okay thank you for the question guys thank you for the question for those who just join us uh, feel free to drop more questions in the comment section and we will get to you okay <laughs> yeah yeah you're ready forever for the slicing <laughs> i don't know why yes. yeah but that's one of the reasons one of the reason why wow 36 hours <laughs> So a few advice uh, from my side, if you want to print a very, very huge and very long object, make sure that your the 3D printer environment is uh, monitored. You don't aim your fan at your 3D printer or you don't aim your aircon at the 3D printer. Once the temperature change, right, everything will change. If the object goes bigger and bigger, higher chances of falling down also. So you have to be very careful with printing long big objects okay last questions before we enter our next session is there any way to reduce the slicing time yes uh, as answered earlier you will have to decide whether you should print that thickness you are allowed to print it at, at a thinner thickness if you print a, a thinner um, settings you will print faster but you will also risk breaking it easily right now this is super strong this is super strong super hard all right because the infill is also 100 percent but bear in mind that the wall you can choose how thick you want the wall mm -hmm. to be depending on the nozzle also and also uh, you can see that there's this top part and the bottom part you can also remove it some other parts that you don't really need it okay so reduce the size reduce the width and reduce the um areas that you don't need to reduce the time print or increase the nozzle size by uh, by 0 0.2 mm so that it's able to print faster and another thing you can also print with a, a larger resolution so what your your print you're slicing right now you're using 0 0.2 right yeah 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 can actually give you very good quality really yeah you use the, high, uh, the resolution high resolution if you use um more 0 0.25 i guess it's still okay you can still see your object all right because when you shine the light right you don't expect a very clear image like your picture it will be somewhat blur okay so you don't need to print it very fine with detail you can print 0 0.2 0 0.3 and then it will print faster but you will still see the image over there so that's uh, something you can uh, work with lah. Right, you can slice and see how long it takes. Okay, all right. Thanks for the questions. Um, okay, we are gonna proceed with our next part, shall we? So what? Yeah. Okay. Can. All right. So in our next item on our agenda, I will be demonstrating to you how you can use uh, SketchUp. 3D modeling software to design a light bulb holder. Okay. Yay. Yeah. So with a little fin, you will need a light bulb. And with a light bulb, you will need a holder for your light bulb so that your little fin can sit on top nicely like that. So I'm going to draw this for you very easily, very quickly. Um, you can use SketchUp to draw files for your 3D printers. I believe you have questions over here. I just bought Ender 3. Can it support SolidWorks or Solid Edge? Yes, it can definitely support SolidWorks. Solid Edge, um, can or not? I guess if it's a CAD tool, yes, you can export the STL file. Yes. All right, you just need mm. the STL. Okay, but for SketchUp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
there's one thing to remind other people because at that uh, when I first have my 3D printer, I thought that uh, the 3D printer read STL file, but it's not like that. Okay, you need to have a G code file to print on your using your 3D printer. Okay, it's a G code file, not STL file. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, 3D model, STL file, slice, 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 become G code for your machine. Mm. Okay. So, thank you for your question. Continue to drop your questions here. I'm going to proceed with SketchUp. Let's get started here. Um, but first, if you are new to SketchUp, this is how you're going to get SketchUp. Okay. Uh, SketchUp is a software where most, okay, it's mainly built for interior designers. Okay. It's not mainly built for 3D printing or 3D modeling for objects. Right. A lot of mm -hmm. interior designers look forward to, I mean, they use SketchUp to draw houses and architecture. In our case, we are going to use SketchUp to draw an object and it works too. SketchUp have many versions, uh, like every other software, there are pro versions and there are paid versions. Uh, here, I'm going to show you how you can download SketchUp for free. And this SketchUp is actually called SketchUp Make over here. So in your search bar, just search SketchUp Make Download. And over here, you will be able to see downloading older versions. So SketchUp Make, SketchUp Make is an older version. Like it's a 2017 version, which works perfectly for classes. As long as you don't commercialize anything, it's totally free. Down, click this link, scroll to the bottom. And then you will be able to see there are SketchUp Pro 2020, you can download it, but it will be in trial version. Same goes to the 2019. And then there's this SketchUp Make 2017. Click this link and it will straight go and download. The file is less than 200 MB, very small. Okay, you just need to install it, uh, download it and install it. Okay, simple. All right, it supports Windows 10, 8 and 7, but only for 64 bit. It works for, with Mac as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna proceed with SketchUp. Once you click SketchUp, this is what you will get. Okay, let me close my slide. This is what you will see. Okay, it will ask you to go free uh, pro trial. Okay, 30 days pro, or you can just use SketchUp Make, it's also free. Select template and then select the size, uh, the measurement unit that you prefer. If you are an American, feet and inches is more preferable for you. But for us, I would prefer to use millimeters. Okay, click millimeters and start using SketchUp. Okay, hold on. I'm going to share my screen. Um, okay. okay, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. So once uh -huh. you, you manage to get into, okay, due to time constraint, uh, we talk too much. We only have 60 minutes left. So let's get moving and let's get moving fast. So again, I'm going to draw a lamp holder, this thing. I'm going to show you a fast way to draw this. Okay. Of course, uh, when you draw a 3D object, you will first need to have a clipper and you will need to trace your lamp size. So if you don't have this, you don't you haven't buy your lamp holder yet. Um, make sure you do have it before you start measuring anything and start drawing anything. Okay, so just get this very cheap uh, clipper. It's 10 ringgit plus plus. You will be able mm -hmm. to get one plastic one and it's quite accurate. Now. Okay, first select and make your plane 2D. Okay, all you need to do is draw a 2D of this object because mm -hmm. it's in circle. Draw one side, half side of this 
plane on a 2D plane. And later on, I will show you. So um, try to follow as I go along. I thought it is in a circle shape. Why you use rectangle? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right now I am trying to draw half of this. Um, let's say like this is a cake. I'm gonna slice it into half. I'm gonna slice it into another half, quarter left. Yes, and yes. if you look at it as a half side inside, you will be able to see a two D of that half of the cake. Ah. Uh... So, I understand. You will link together once you you see the object. Okay, so bear with me. But um, yeah, we have a few questions. Any web versions? SketchUp. Yes, there's a web version. You can if you don't want to download it, you can go ahead and try their uh, web application SketchUp. Okay. So over here, as you can see, I'm referring to my drawing because I've already done the measurement, or else it will take longer than usual. Okay. This part, delete this part. Okay, you will probably have questions right now. Like, what am I drawing here? What is this? I thought you're gonna draw a light bulb holder. I don't really understand, yeah. but if you have a bit experience in 3D modeling, you will probably see what I'm trying to do here. But if no, stay tuned. Five more minutes left and you'll be able to see what am I trying to do here. <laughs> 700, 700. Okay, this is the radius of my um, curve fillet. Oh! But I'm trying not to use bombastic words here so that you are able to see and understand what I'm trying to draw here. Um, okay, I think of I can course see this it video. Yeah. You can see it? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think. The design is you can make a lot of types of design up to you. I encourage you to practice it, but uh, this is one of my design. I did the measurement and it's very simple. Actually, basically I'm done drawing already. Uh. All, right. All I need to do is make it into an object, a 3D object. Right now it's just 2D. Okay, okay. show us the magic. <laughs> <laughs> show us the magic. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, need to. need to do some magic so again different tools like fusion 360 um, if you watch our first webinar we also demonstrate to you how you do, can do 3d modeling using fusion 360 it has its own different method to create a cylinder 3d object right uh, for sketchup it's a bit different and because we are using a free version there are a lot of tools that you can't really use but it still works yeah look at wow. that so, this is the 3d object that i'm trying to create okay all right over here i'm 70 percent done already see my light hold my lamp holder is almost there nice. simply this way right now it's just one hole at the center here this hole i still need to create two holes and oh, one here. all right and one uh, gap over here for my wire to pass through 
so let's get to that so i encourage whoever here to look for content uh, use this to teach your students how to create pots vase many many things are cylinder even cups right this is a way to capture the image of 3d okay you start with a 2d you start by using your pen and paper and draw the 2d draw that in the image and then boom you got a 3d object i'm gonna get the center point over here okay i'm gonna go a bit fast but of course you can always rewatch the rewind in this webinar use this webinar in your class if you have to okay my diameter for this is 260 uh, radius and then my diameter is 520. if you are wondering what's the size that i click into uh, my drawing you can always refer here the dimensions the the numbers the calculations are all done over here okay. all right my hole is already here now i just need to push push it down to the bottom push it down to the bottom there you go i have my two holes for my screws two holes for my screws see my light bulb with two holes for my screws next i need that lubang on the side so that i can let my wire come out from that side okay first i will draw a cube right i'm gonna set my size to 1000 by 2000 and then I'm going to extrude it 400, 4 mm. This method is very, very old school, very traditional. But there are better ways to do it if you're using other software. In SketchUp Make, there's no such thing as subtract in the free version, unfortunately. So you have to use this method to create a hole. Right. Okay, now I have these two objects. I'm going to create a component for this object right click make a component okay and then um, i can't really see and then just select create why i don't see this uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay i can't see what i can't see my create component okay after that you just click enter and create and then same goes to this object make a component now you have two components click move and move this piece of block underneath here this is the interception point between the two objects and you want to create a hole between them in a modern way you just subtract this minus this and then you get a hole but not in this case you can't do it so right click on this object and select interfe intersect face with model and later on pull this object out you'll be able to see the intersected lines over there okay so this is not an object it's just lines now you have to join these lines including the internal part to create to make it into an object so select view and select face style x-ray as you can see inside they are actually not connected so select pencil and try to connect those lines connect those lines okay once you're done you can click your component select explode and you have your objects and now change your view back to your original view select this object and just click delete delete the back delete the front there you have it you have your object over here hold on All right you will need to erase this carefully okay wow. All right. okay. Uh, but of course it's a very super diy way to do it uh, it's not the best method to do it uh. 
Okay, so um, do explore this method. Okay, and um, we, okay, due to our time, I'm gonna end here. Right. I hope you give it a go, give it a try. Give it a try. Okay, nice. So this is my entire object here. For SketchUp Make, if you want to export it into STL file, you will need to, um, you will need to add an extension under the extension warehouse over here. Once you do that, you will be able to export STL file over here. Just click Export STL file. Um, select your object. Make sure you select your object first. Once you have that, then this will pop up, and then you just click export binary and model units. Okay, just like that. Export, export only current selection model. It's millimeters, huh? Export. Okay, I'm not gonna go through that anymore. Um, but once you export it, put it in Cura, you'll be able to see your object over there. Okay, guys, I hope you okay. find this. Uh, interesting yes yes can you share my slide <laughs> finally yeah. we have yeah. sliced it okay 17 so, hours so it took it took around 15 minutes huh? 15 to 20 mm. minutes yeah all right so yeah there you go little fan around 17 hours 32 minutes the file that i have it will only take around two to three hours to print okay not too long la. all right okay so i hope you find this session valuable um okay, let's see if you have any questions huh, so far okay okay shaman one question Right, why binary? Why binary for the STL file exported? So it's a file format uh, accepted by the um, Cura slicers. Uh. You can try ASCII also and see what happens. Uh. Okay, it's smaller size. Uh, I would presume using binary and instead of ASCII, ASCII it may take more file space. But again, go try ahead. I, um, let's go ahead and end this session with a closing summary. Yes, yes. We've got two minutes more. We have two more minutes. Okay. So again, thank you for joining us today. Um, if you just join right now, fear not, this rec this session is recorded. You can always come back here, uh, this same link, and review this session. In this session, we go through what is Little Fin, right? A bit of history on Little Fin and the objects that people use to create are uh, used to create little fins uh, bwax ceramics but today we don't use that anymore we have 3d printers to help us do that easily very easy number two how to generate little fin 3d model with it's little but application if you scroll up to our command section i shared the link there you can use that link to generate your own little fin Number three, where to download SketchUp Make. And number four, how to design lab holder using a SketchUp Make. Okay, so again, thank you for joining. If you are still here, don't go yet. We have something to share with you. Uh, if, you plan to, mm. if you plan to purchase something from Cytron page this week, we have a promo code for you to um, take use of. Lah. Okay, so don't forget during this month it's our 3d printer 3d printer month uh we fully support education in, in 3d printer we want to help you guys understand 3d printer we want to help you guys learn more about 3d printing so if you visit this website you will be able to see that we actually accept lo from schools who are interested in getting a 3d printer uh, if you are a teacher or if you are a parent and you are you want to support a school, a nearby school, a local school, or your your kid's school to have a 3D printer, do talk to us, or not a 3D printer or any hardware tools, do talk to us as well. We will help you arrange that. And if you are very new to 3D printing or you are still not sure whether you should get a 3D printer or how
how much how are you gonna get materials or where are you gonna learn more about 3d printing join our telegram group um our 3d printing community telegram group i will share you the link later and last but not least our webinar series we will share all our series over there so you can rewatch our replay over there as well so here it goes uh, this week copone is get shirt 3d okay wow get you free don't have to yeah you get free t-shirt if you spend a minimum of 10 ringgit okay it only valids until tomorrow sunday so i hope you um, if you so happen to want to purchase something already why not just claim your free t-shirt from us and yeah it's a, a gift to you all right for our community we want to give it back to you guys and it's a it's a maker t-shirt it's a blue color but this kind of t-shirt it's, it's blue it's in blue color okay. royal blue right yeah royal blue color uh, let me let me quickly click the link and share it to you you will have to add it in your cart okay let me it's a trust me t-shirt it's this t-shirt Hey, okay, thanks for asking guys so this is the t-shirt select your size add to cart and then if you are purchasing then just yeah check out and then you get the discount over here okay you will get the test uh, and you will get away straight away free uh, okay basically so again before you leave um next week Selamat Hari Raya. Uh, I, got, I hope you guys have a uh, wondrous holiday. Okay, stay at home, of course, but I hope you guys enjoy your holiday. We won't be having a webinar series next Saturday, but we will have another series on 22nd May, uh, the week after that. I will talk about how you can make, build your own makerspace at home. So here's the link at your Google Calendar and don't forget to join us on that day all right i will see you on that day as well and last but not least um telegram group on the right side click this link over here on our telegram group if you want to leave us a feedback um this is the link over here <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't include the barcode scan but this is the link over here go ahead and drop us a feedback and thank you for joining again i will see you in our next session soon Adrian, Adrian, right. wait, 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 Ah. print out your object print out your because you already import this into the each little software just print this in color form fold it align it with your little pen and stick it inside all right the size will be exactly the same fit it nicely turn on the light and you will be able to see colored um, you'll be able to see this uh, basically okay colored little thing it's as simple as that color paper without you will get white color with you will get the color together okay so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this session all right Selamat Hari Raya. happy holiday Maaf guys dan batin. okay bye, bye thank bye. you Thank you.